Uh, hello everyone, I'm Steve from UK and English Tutoring. In this video, I'm going to assess one of my students' OET letters and provide the word-by-word -word feedback along with the feedback against each parameter and then the overall score for this particular letter. Let's start the assessment. Um, so you have written on the date on the top. I'm happy with that. And you have written on the recipient's details. That is uh, Miss Ra Rachel Anderson and then the community nursing service. Okay, that's fine. Um, dear Miss Anderson, comma, that's good. Regarding, uh, these are the reference details. Uh, Miss Jane Robinson, please write down, you know, Yen clearly. All right. Okay. Sir. This sounds like, you know, Jane Robinson, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not uh, writing it as a mistake, but I just recommend you to be a bit careful. Okay. Okay, sir. I'm writing to request you home visits for. Uh, Mr. Miss Jane Robinson, who requires continued monitoring and management for postnatal depression. Okay, so the introduction paragraph is good, but there is one mistake. Okay, see this one. I'm request. I'm writing to request you to arrange home visits. Okay, I'm writing to request you home visits doesn't make sense. So you should you should write down like this. I'm writing to request you to arrange. Okay, you. Um, home visits. So instead of that, you should have or offer or render or provide, you know, something, something similar to that. So you should have mentioned, I'm write, writing this letter to request you to arrange home visits. Okay. Arrange okay, home sir. visits. Right, but apart from that, everything else is all good. I'm very happy with the way that you have included all the relevant information in this paragraph. Okay. It's good. All right, uh, Miss Robinson gave birth to a male child via normal delivery. That's good. Socially, she separated uh, from child's father and moved to another place. She has no support of family and friends. She has no support from family. From family and friends. That would be more appropriate anyway. The patient is a restaurant manager. Is this really important? Uh, sir, because she lo uh, she works long hours. That's long why. hours. Okay. Mm, all right. So she has no support of family. Okay. So I have to write this one down. No support of. Okay. You need to write down no support from. Okay. From. And try to use, you know, her family instead of saying just family. Okay. You have written on okay, only sir. family. Okay. So. She has no support of family. You can say she has no support from her family and friends. Okay. The patient is a restaurant manager. You don't need to mention the patient here unless mm -hmm. you are running out of uh, synonyms or so on because it doesn't make sense, you know, when you write down the patient here. Okay. okay so. All right. During subsequent visits, uh, Miss Robinson was worried about caring for her baby. That's good. Despite this, uh, that's a good connectivity. The baby was crying continuously. Okay, despite this, the baby was crying continuously. Okay, no, uh, I think the reason is that I'll tell you. So the way you have connected this, these two sentences uh, is not appropriate. I think she was worried about the caring of her baby because the baby was crying continuously. Is that right or not? Yes, sir. Mm. But when you say despite this, this is wrong. This one doesn't make sense. Okay, so what you should have done is you should have used, you know, the connecting phrases properly. Okay, so during subsequent visits, Mr. Miss Robinson was worried about uh, caring for a baby since the baby was crying continuously. Okay, do you understand what I mean? Yes. Sir. Instead of saying, uh, you know, baby uh, and then full stop and then despite this you know the child or the baby whatever it is okay i think it was baby isn't it um yeah, is it the baby okay yep sorry okay the baby so what you should have done is you should have mentioned baby since you know you can mention you know, since the baby okay and then you can say whatever you want to say okay since the baby was okay. crying continuously, okay? Right. The patient reported that she didn't get sleep, okay? 
try to write down l you know with the with the longer longer head okay because l and e seem to be the same they are in same yes, heights sir. it's not good you have to write down l you know bit longer okay mm-hmm. or sleep okay, after uh, she reported that she didn't get sleep after arriving at home and therefore she felt exhausted okay or right, therefore needs a comma after that remember that after all the connecting phrases you have to place a comma sir then i need to put a comma arriving at home arriving comma. at home now this comma can be removed it's not needed so okay. what you should do is that at home comma and so remove this comma this one doesn't make sense you, you can remove that and then you have to place a comma after and therefore okay and therefore comma she felt exhausted all right okay today's home visit okay no during today's home visit miss robin robinson feels guilty and regrets uh, to have a child okay that's very bad anyway so today's home visit okay today's home visit comma so during today's home visit comma and then you should write down whatever it is okay she feels guilty and regrets to have a child a baby has stopped crying however however you should place a comma after that after how however. however yes after however okay yes sir let's go to the next one uh he <laughs> he looks pale and lethargic okay all right uh, along with this the baby has complaints of diarrhea dry skin feels sleepy no 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 see whenever you say the complaints of you always use the noun only see this one diarrhea is a noun dry uh, mm-hmm. whatever it is okay dry skin is a noun and then sleepiness okay something like that you know you can't use you know sleep you can say sleepiness or uh feelings of sleep or something you know you have to write down something in the same form in the noun form only and is okay, batax uh, or ex exo excoriated uh, right isn't it yes sir uh so this one is wrong so sleepiness instead of saying feels sleepy you can say sleepiness right so that's what uh, you have to write down okay okay sir all right due to inadequate breastfeed baby's weight has decreased okay so you should say due to inadequate breastfeed you should be able to put a comma here but you didn't write it down that's not good okay so okay, breastfeed you need to place a comma here please comma okay sorry okay uh, Okay, let's go to the next one. Baby's weight uh, has decreased. Okay, baby's weight has decreased. It's saying, let's say has decreased. You can say has been decreased, or you can say was decreased. Okay, or is decreased. If it is the if it is the today's one, you can mention that. It is important to monitor uh, child's weight and general health. may I request you to arrange uh, mental health nurse no that's wrong okay um arrange mental health nurse you need to use arrange a mental health nurse mental health yes nurse. that's right a mental health nurse okay yes all the occupations you know whenever you need to arrange something mm-hmm. arrange a social worker arrange a dentist arrange a uh, veterinary doctor arrange a uh, or an aged care nurse for example yeah so you got to use either mm-hmm. a an or the okay may I request you to yes, arrange uh, a mental health nurse okay to do mental and emotional assessment of mothers no, of mother okay of of mother yeah that's all right uh, that's fine please provide support to the mother for caring of her child also she requests assistance in domestic chores okay assistance in domestic chores that's fine 
one thing i would like to ask you is to use maybe a range of sentence structures such as complex and compound because in this sen- in this paragraph okay you didn't use um, mm-hmm. uh, any complex or compound sentences it is only the simple sentences okay sir can you please give me any idea like what well, i can use here okay let's say for example let's say this one may request you to arrange a mental health nurse okay to do blah 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 whatever it is um you can say for example you can say this one uh, monitoring a child's weight and general health and um arranging a mental health nurse to do uh, mental and emotional assessment or you can say to to do uh, you know mother's mental and emotional assessment uh, are equally important okay i mean you can write down these two things together in one sentence itself okay but sir uh, the first sentence is only for the child mm-hmm. and the second sentence is for the mother that's okay if i, I mean, join... yeah you can you can still you can you are going to mention your know, child's weight and then uh, mother's mental health okay my mother's mental status okay so that's fine that should be okay, all right sir. otherwise what you can do is that maybe in this case here as well um okay see see this one at least you know the third and fourth sentence can be easily combined okay please provide support to the mother for caring of a child okay also she requests assistance in domestic chores okay you can say for example um you can say like this okay uh, she requests assistance uh, not only in caring of her child but also in domestic chores okay so you can write like yes, this sir. for example she requests uh support or assistance okay support not only in sorry not only in caring sorry not on in not only in caring or you can simply say not only in providing care to her child but also in domestic chores okay yes sir like this please okay so we don't want to you know use only the simple sentences okay when you are especially aiming at b grade okay it is it is highly recommended mm-hmm. to use a range of sentence structures okay okay at home address and other details have been enclosed with this letter okay please do not hesitate to contact me if you have other questions okay that's fine i'm happy with that so that's good you sincerely that's fine okay all right so you're writing to raj rachel okay rachel anderson that's fine local maternity hospital that's fine so yeah these things are quite good okay i'm happy with that let's go through the case notes okay so you are able to using the above case notes write a letter to rachel anderson community nursing services about the patient okay that's fine do not use bullet form note form in letter expand the relevant case notes into full sentences letter should be that's fine okay so is this a known case or an unknown case sir unknown case it's an unknown case okay all right okay let's say um read the case notes below and complete the writing task which follows you are a home health nurse okay working for a local maternity hospital the patient miss rambitson a 19 year old fast food restaurant manager has returned to home after giving birth at your hospital okay you have been assisting for the past week under the patient's insurance policy but will need to hand the patient over to your community nurse when the time is over okay eighth postpartum day all right name is jane rabinson okay date of birth that's fine female that's all right restaurant manager okay separated from child's father all right try to you know uh, use uh, some you know different words uh, recently moved to this area recently relocated i mean like uh, recent uh, relocated you know so only some times ago something like that you know few friends live locally parents are unable to visit okay that's fine uh client works long hours during day it is important to mention this one rather than just mentioning the restaurant manager do you understand yes sir yes so you can say she has uh, long shifts okay mm-hmm. on a regular basis something like that you don't need to mention okay. like you know she works long hours during the day do you understand 
Okay, okay. Recent medical history, 12-hour uncomplicated original delivery, that's fine. Healthy baby, why? That's all right. No history of serious illness, injury, surgery, that's fine. Client responded well to the instructions in the hospital, that's fine. Just feeding established successfully, concerned about caring for the baby alone. Um, okay. Mm. All right, that, that's fine. You know, instead of saying caring again and again, you can say in providing care to the child. Okay, so you can mention, you know, those kinds of things. All right, let's okay. go to the next one. Fourth postpartum derivation group. disorganized. Okay. Patient disturbed. So being exhausted. Okay, so I have stopped crying. Patient greatly relieved. Okay. Patient feeling guilty poor mother. Okay. Regards the decision to have a child. I mean, try not to use uh, the same words. Okay. That's one of the issues with your letter. It's better to use, you know, more synonyms, all right, rather than using the same words. Child by lethargic diarrhea, too sleepy, to breastfeed, okay, excoriated, okay. And skin dry, okay. Mm. A patient uh, may need mental and emotional assessment. So try not to use assessment. You can use, you know, evaluation, okay. You can say, uh, mm -hmm. could you please evaluate, uh, you know, the mental status of the patient or of the mother? Do you understand? So you can use yes. maybe other phrases. You don't need to, you know, necessarily use the same words. Okay. okay. okay so. Then support with the bonding and caring for the child. Okay. Uh, all right. Child's weight and general request management hospital assistance okay. to the household duties. Okay. Uh, yeah. care. okay. That's all right. That's fine. Okay. See, uh, only one case note was not included. I mean, the long hours should have been mentioned. Although you have mentioned uh, restaurant manager, it's not that important, but you have to mention that, uh, you know, she works longer hour or long shifts. Okay. You can say, for example, uh, you know, she has long shifts uh, as a restaurant manager or something. Okay. All right. Let's go through the assessment now. As far as the case notes are concerned, all relevant case notes, except, except uh, you know, the long shifts were included, okay? So only one relevant case note is missing. Synonyms could have been used more frequently instead of copying the same words. Okay, sir. From the case notes, so it's not good. Not good, okay, please. Connectivity would have been a bit better because you haven't used the, you know, the connecting phrase properly. Um, instead of, you know, despite this, you should have used, uh, you know, due to or and as a result of something, you know, all right. Connectivity could have been a bit better. So there's only one occasion, you know, where you have committed the mistakes, but apart from that, it was good enough. Um, grammar could have been much better. You have committed some grammatical mistakes, you know, in this one. For example, you know, the use of uh, connecting phrases, uh, you know, the use of articles. And then mm -hmm. uh, what else? Um, let's say uh, punctuation marks. Okay, those kinds of things could have been much better. Okay. okay sir. Apart from that, it's okay. So use of articles, uh, prepositions, punctuations. have been better okay mm -hmm. yeah, everything else is okay overall task fulfillment is all right it is fine i'm happy with that um layout and presentation features were good as well okay and Use of more active voice uh, structures. Okay, use of active voice form. Active voice form. Use of active voice form is uh, recommended more frequently. So it's better to use, you know, more and more active. Sorry, not the active voice. Uh, sorry about that. Passive voice. You should have used a more basic voice form, okay, instead of the active ones, okay. All right, that's a recommendation, okay. And apart from that, you have use of a range of sentence structures is good. 
very happy with that but you know still you know there is a, there is some paragraphs in you know, where you haven't included a range of sentences okay uh, but i think yeah, most of the letter is okay but in some areas you have to use a range of sentences okay so uh, okay. the range of sentences is okay in most part of the letter okay in some okay. paragraphs you could have improved okay and apart from that i think yeah, it's all good the vocabulary vocabulary is formal i'm happy with the way that you have used the formal words but the only thing is um, synonyms could have been used more frequently apart from that it is okay all right let me go through the expected score now okay let me see well uh, the first one is you uh, request you home is it's uh, okay so no support off okay baby despite this uh, at home mm, remove a comma okay so four is a recommendation only mm -hmm. uh, five six is a mistake okay and then feel sleepy that's not good uh, yeah so okay she requests support uh, 12 is a recommendation okay uh but yeah like a couple of recommendations but re remaining ones are not that good okay according mm -hmm. to me you know this letter may be able to get about you know 310 out of 500 okay sir it's not it's not that bad okay so mm -hmm. it is all right you should be able to get uh, at least 310 for this letter but if you could have rectified you know those few mistakes i think you would have been able to score well Yes, sir. Okay. Right. okay sir. Thank you. And sir, I have one one question. Yes. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, like uh, there was a sentence: the mother feel guilty and regrets to have a child. Mm, yes. I was trying to use a synonym. Yeah. Uh, but I wasn't able to find it. So what I can write it here? She felt re regretted instead of saying regretted. Okay. you can mm -hmm. say regrets instead of regrets okay regrets is a noun you could have used the, the verb form of the same okay is it but sir i 